Hello YouTubers and welcome to the unboxing of our recent purchase of the electric brand 2.0 ST extended range e-bike with step through design. This Labor Day special includes several items such as the comfort package which means we get a wider seat and a shock absorbing seat post. Our box was delivered by FedEx six days after ordering and is somewhat the worst for wear. I'm very concerned about all the damage I see as I perform this walk around. Here for example the corner is completely busted out and I'm able to peer inside the box. Other locations include tear out and puncture damages. It's going to be interesting to view inside so let's get after it. Unboxing begins by using my box cutter to cut through the packing tape. My heavy duty wire strips are used to remove the packing staples across the lid. It appears this damaged corner occurred next to the seat. Since we are swapping out the original seat anyways, any damage would not be a showstopper. I am concerned, however, at what lies beneath all these puncture locations. At 64 pounds, I'm not anxious to lift this bike straight up out of the box as I've seen some others do. Watch however as I use extreme caution and look inside while using the box cutter on each corner, making sure I'm not cutting into the contents. The battery is already installed inside the bike frame. This is the box for the charger and other items I'll show you soon. This locking mechanism for the foldable handlebar was where I saw one of the punctures in the shipping box, but upon examination there is no damage. The higher intensity headlamp shown here was part of the upgrade package.
Even though I'm not going to use it, I have some degree of anxiousness uncovering possible shipping damage to this original seat. As it turns out, it looks just fine. I loosened the clamp like this and removed the original seat and seat post. Note that this handlebar shaft has incremental witness marks to assist you with proper height adjustment. The foldable handlebar locking mechanism works as follows. Even though one of the big selling points of this e-bike is its foldability, I found that managing this is not intuitive. The battery is already installed here and slides upward into the frame. The two halves of the bike frame are latched together as follows. Two battery security keys are included. These are necessary to remove the battery. As we move to the box marked Charger, we note the owner's manual. I found this manual very informative, and in this world of online assistance only, the color hard copy photos were a nice touch. One of the other inclusions in the price of this package was a electric brand foldable bike lock with two keys. We eventually mounted this to the bike using the factory mount points beneath the seat stock. It comes with two hook and loop fasteners for mounting elsewhere. Removing the lock from its container reveals the mechanism. It can be used to wrap around a post or other secure location. Locks like this on the internet sell for $79. The block style charger is in this box. Charge time for this bike is about 6 hours. I did note compared to my other e-bike, this charger tends to emit more heat so be careful where you place it while in use. The charge port is under this cover on the left lower frame next to the foldable pivot point. While charging, the LED is red, and when fully charged, it is green. This shipping protector pad is nice to keep around to prevent scratching the bottom of the brace while folding or unfolding the bike. The foot pedals ship retracted and need to be flipped outward like this. It took me a couple of minutes to figure out how to retract them again, but let me demonstrate how you push them in and fold downward. Now let's unbox the so-called comfort package.
Note how much wider the Comfort Package seat is. This assembly is inserted as follows and locked into place as you also note the shock absorbing seat post. The seat post resistance is not adjustable. I don't know why you need them, but instructions for the comfort package are included. The 20 inch tires on the bike are 3 inches wide and shipped deflated and as such will need to be inflated to 30 psi. Remove the valve stem cover and inflate and check the pressure for both the front and rear tires. One of the other perks that came with this package was the inclusion of an anti-puncture product already installed inside the tires called Slime. You can read about this product online. Before your first ride and to prepare the battery for use, the key must be inserted. Located here under the frame, insert the key and turn it clockwise. Nothing visibly happens, except now you have the ability to turn on the display and ultimately power up the bike like this. I really like the Shimano 7-speed gears and you simply press the plus button to go to a higher gear or pull back the black lever to shift lower. There's a throttle built onto the grip between these two arrows and it works just like a motorcycle or moped throttle. This bike even sports cruise control. Here on the left side we test the front brakes which are mechanical and on the right the rear mechanical brakes as well. Make sure you check and or adjust the headlamp prior to your first ride. As we complete the walk around, I don't see any reason we can't don our helmet and take the bike for a test spin. After powering up, holding down the plus button turns on the headlamp and tail light. Let's see if we can impress these middle schoolers. You'll note here I start out with pedal assist or PAS set to level 1. The motor on this bike is a bit noisy as I wind up on flat ground in 7th gear using pedal assist 2 of 5. I decided to use throttle only to see if it would reach its advertised 20 mile per hour class 1 rating. And whoop, there it is. Now there is a setting in the owner's manual showing you how to increase the speed capacity as high as 28 miles an hour, giving this bike a class three street rating. Always be careful of the woodland creatures. In conclusion, I'm impressed with this bike's acceleration and battery charge life. We ordered the 2.0 ST model with an extended range battery and have found it to be perfect for us. As of this video, my wife has ridden the bike about 300 miles and she's flat out in love with it. It came recommended to us by friends and we couldn't be happier about the purchase. I'll be posting some of our rides soon. Thanks for viewing.